to see what's on sale. Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Women's Health Center, your hometown OBGYN group, providing exceptional obstetrical and gynecological care for women for the past 20 years. We have three convenient locations in Jessup, Blackshear, and Baxley. We understand that choosing your OBGYN is a personal decision and that the relationship with your doctor and the trust you build is essential. At Women's Health Center, we provide obstetrical care and guide you through the process, making sure you and your baby stay healthy. We provide the most advanced ultrasound technology with the clearest pictures ever. Annual gynecological care gives patients an opportunity to take charge of their health. Some of our services include hormone therapy, pellets, Botox, the new 3, 5, and 10-year IUDs, Nexplanon, and much more. We accept all insurance carriers, including TRICARE, Medicaid, and we accept all insured and uninsured patients. Please call our office at 912-588-1020 and visit MajorMD.com for more information about Women's Health Center. That's M-A-G-E-R-M-D.com. Got ticks? Well, we hope not. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefania Wilcox. We are the Associate Veterinarians at Wolf Animal Hospital. As the cool air rolls in, we are noticing the ticks are too. Let us help guard your pets against tick-borne disease this year. Come see us at our main branch, Wolf Animal Hospital, at 755 West Cherry Street. And now we can serve you from our new mobile veterinary clinic in select locations throughout Appling, Brantley, Long, and Wayne Counties. The mobile service will provide preventive medicine and outpatient procedures on site. For more information, contact Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefania Wilcox. And we are ready to serve you and your four-legged family members at our main hospital or one of our satellite locations. Contact us at Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. 912-427-3212. When we say right on the corner and right on the price, we mean it at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear. Up to $12,000 off 2018 F-150s. $12,000 off America's number one selling truck. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch and 24-7 at MikeBirchFord.com. 801 at WIFO FM, Jess, a big dog country time for the world famous Butch and Bob show. Brought to you by Mike Birch Ford and Blankshire, Murphy Builder Supply, the Women's Health Center, and Wolf Animal Hospital. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Jonathan. On the phone with us, uh, as you mentioned, Monday with the Meeks. We've got State Representative Stephen Meeks on the phone from Atlanta. And Stephen, how are you doing today? Good morning. Doing well. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate you being here every Monday. Give us the latest. Yes, What's happening up there in Atlanta? Well, it's, uh, it's beginning to get uh, kicked into high gear. We've had, uh, as we've mentioned over last week, we've had a couple of uh, slow weeks given the weather and uh, the football game that was here in town. But beginning to uh, get kicked into high gear and, um, and and moving forward with committee meetings and legislation that uh, that's been introduced. So it's uh, going to get rolling again. And I uh, got lots of folks coming into town. We had uh, 4-H day at the Capitol last week and. Uh, Lauren and Donna were both here from uh, from Wayne County and had, uh, I believe, six 4-H'ers uh, here with the 4-H day. So it was great to see them, and I believe today is, or tomorrow, is Farm Bureau Day at the Capitol. So we'll have others from uh, Wayne County up. So lots going on here at the state capitol. Just give us a rundown of how your day goes. And you've been up there several weeks. You know, give us a Stephen Mika day, what time you get up, how many meetings you in, and all that good stuff. And I'm uh, I'm normally here in the office about 6:30, uh, uh, Bob, to try to get going and uh, get everything organized for the day and think through what we're doing and study legislation that's that's been introduced and and then from there we'll normally have a a, a whip meeting sometimes uh, early morning to uh, discuss legislation that may happen that day and then we'll go into session around 10 o'clock and uh, I think Friday it went from 10 to 1 before we adjourn for the day. And then usually committee meetings or uh, further meetings in the afternoons, and normally end up uh, around six o'clock or, or so here at the office. And typically there's a, uh, a reception being hosted over at the depot by uh, different groups that legislators are invited over to. So we'll pop in and say hello and uh, and go on from there. And just trying to follow. It's been awfully quiet. Anything controversial at all up in Atlanta? Well, we've got a couple of things that uh, that are beginning to uh, to pick up speed. Nothing a lot yet. We've had some very early conversations about certificate of need, which, as you probably know, was an issue that uh, the um, Rural Development Council, uh, appointed by the Speaker over the last two years, have discussed. So that, that's beginning to pick up in conversation. But uh, but other than that, uh, not a lot of controversial issues right now. But it's still early in the session. 
And if you just join us, Stephen Meeks on the phone with us uh, from Atlanta. Uh, you know, we, last time we talked to you and Bill Workheiser and Blake Tillery, broadband's a big issue. Where do we stand on that? Right, broadband continues to be a big issue and a, an issue for rural Georgia. We uh, we have uh, House Bill, I believe, 23 that uh, may be presented this week. The uh, still up in the air right now as to whether or not that'll happen. But uh, that bill pro- pro- provides the EMCs the authority uh, statutorily to provide broadband services. But the one thing that I will mention is, is that it does include uh, cross subsidy protections. Uh, to, that prevents EMC from using um, electric consumer revenues to subsidize broadband services for, for competitive purposes uh, when you have independents that are, are also in the business. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll likely see that sometime this week. I don't know for sure when, but uh, that will continue to be uh, one of the things that the legislature works on as we look to provide uh, greater access for, uh, for rural Georgia. When the governor laid out his budget, when, when does the vote on the budget take place? Well, we uh, last week we did pass the supplemental budget uh, that uh, that we that finishes out fiscal year uh, nineteen, and then uh, of course uh, we will start working on uh, the budget for tw- the big budget for twenty twenty, which will include a lot of the uh, initiatives of the governor. So we will uh, that will that work will begin likely over the next couple of days as we start preparing for that because as as you know that's the one thing constitutionally the legislature is required to do is to uh, pass a balanced budget. But a couple of things that were in the uh, amended uh, amended budget which was passed on Friday included an additional uh, ten million dollars uh, for the Georgia Development Authority to assist the. Uh, agriculture producers on the west side of the state and other areas that were significantly impacted from Hurricane Michael, and uh, that will um, the original 55 million that was included in the special session was uh, was all authorized and loaned out as of Friday of last week. So it provides a little bit of additional uh, assistance for loans for uh, for growers on the west side of the state and other areas to um, um, to to get through this pretty tough time they're having. And also, there was included in that thirty thousand dollars per school uh, at the discretion of the local um, board of Ed- boards of education for school security. So it's a uh, um, uh, uh, g- uh, cash money per school that allows the local community to decide how they want to use it. And again, uh, you've been selected to be on several committees. Refresh our memories on what committees you you serve on: uh, agriculture and consumer affairs, as well as the uh, Energy, Utilities, and Telecommunications uh, Committee, and in addition to that, the Intergovernmental um, uh, Committee, which handles um, mostly uh, local legislation uh, that's introduced. You represent this district. Uh, it's a pretty wide district. Uh, how do you balance that from Atlanta? Uh, how often do you get back in the district? Well, I've been able to get back uh, off and on. The uh, Right now it's been late Fridays, and we're turning up here on Sunday, so not a lot of time to, to get out and see folks while I'm home. But uh, the, the, the schedule has been set. It's going to be a pretty fast schedule for the remainder of the session. Uh, so it'll be Mondays and Fridays here in Atlanta. And then um, after, uh, I think, May 2nd uh, is currently si- is the schedule for signing die. So uh, shortly after that, we'll be home and be able to visit with folks uh, more often. Any other issues we need to be aware of? Anything else on the horizon? That's, uh, that's, that's all that's on the radar right now. Of course, that could change any day now. Uh, as we uh, as we continue to uh, to get have inter- uh, legislation introduced and uh, debated and moving forward, the one thing I will mention, Bob, that I know that continues to be on everyone's mind is uh, red light, um, and uh, we uh, have continued to have conversations with both DOT and and others regarding that issue to see where we can move forward. Okay, Stephen, always good talking to you. We appreciate you checking in every Monday with Monday with Meeks and uh, save, stay safe in Atlanta, and we'll talk to you next Monday. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And just say good morning to John, John, and hope you all have a great day, and thanks for the opportunity to visit with you this morning. Okay, do Again, those comments of Stephen Meeks, representative here from Atlanta. So, again, appreciate him being on tomorrow. We'll have Tuesdays with Tillery, Wednesdays with Workheiser, as we continue to keep you up to date with what's going on. Up in their legislative session. Seems like it's a pretty quiet session this year, though, so far, Jonathan. Not a lot going yeah, on. Not, not usually. Usually they have some, in the past years, they've had some controversial issues that have right. been on, on, on the agenda. This year just seems like. Seems like it's quiet. Yeah. Which, Which I guess is good. Yeah.
You like it that way, don't you? And personally, I think they ought to meet every other year. The, 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 the less lawmaking that is done, the better. We've already got enough laws. Enforce the ones that you've got. Let's take a break here on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show at 809. Good morning from the Big Dog. Women's Health Center, your hometown OBGYN group, providing exceptional obstetrical and gynecological care for women for the past 20 years. We have three convenient locations in Jessup, Blackshear, and Baxley. We understand that choosing your OBGYN is a personal decision and that the relationship with your doctor and the trust you build is essential. At Women's Health Center, we provide obstetrical care and guide you through the process, making sure you and your baby stay healthy. We provide the most advanced ultrasound technology with the clearest pictures ever. Annual gynecological care gives patients an opportunity to take charge of their health. Some of our services include hormone therapy, pellets, Botox, the new 3, 5, and 10-year IUDs, Nexplanon, and much more. We accept all insurance carriers, including TRICARE, Medicaid, and we accept all insured and uninsured patients. Please call our office at 912-588-1020 and visit MajorMD.com for more information about Women's Health Center. That's M-A-G-E-R-M-D.com. And then a Lonky Walker Jones. Walker Jones GMC is the latest addition to the Walker Jones family of dealership. And we're celebrating with incredible deals on professional grade GMC trucks. Right now. Get up to $11,000 off on the last new 2018 GMC Sierra SLT in stock. Eleven grand, And there's more. Take up to $9,000 on the last GMC Acadia Denali in stock. Plus amazing Walker Jones deals on GMCs across the board. Ask for Walker Jones GMC manager Kid D and see why we say at Walker Jones we're going to take care of you like good friends and neighbors should. And of course Walker Jones is the home of a lifetime warranty at no extra cost to you. Lifetime. Walker Jones GMC. We are professional grade. The restrictions supply ends to 2819. See dealer for details. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. World famous Butch and Bob show on WIFO at 810, brought to you by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, Murphy Builder Supply, Women's Health Center, and Wolf Animal Hospital. Wayne County Baseball tonight, weatherman permitting 550 and 6, um, as rain projected for today and tomorrow for the home opener. Okay, weatherman, you need to do a better job. With well, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen any bags of unmarked Benjamins on the back doorstep, so you get what you pay for. Okay, <laughs> Had a few announcements again. The law enforcement is still asking for people's help on locating 36-year-old Travis Jamal Gordon. Again, he's one in connection with that shooting which occurred last Wednesday around midnight at 975 Highway 301 South. Uh, again, the victim, 29-year-old Susie O'Neill, understand from reports from the hospital and law enforcement, she is going to survive the shooting, which is good news. But she's still at the hospital recovering from those injuries. But they're still looking for Gordon. Again, he's described as 5 Foot nine hundred eighty pounds, black male. Again, if you know his whereabouts, you're asked to contact the sheriff's department at four two seven five nine seven zero. The police, the police department at four two seven one three zero zero. Understand, he stole a truck in Scriven, Georgia. They had a uh, contact there, so they can pretty much zero in on where he's at. So again, if you know where he's at, they ask that you contact law enforcement. Hopefully, they'll make that arrest sometime this week also don't forget tomorrow the chamber of commerce state of the education state of education tomorrow is the uh, topic of the quarterly membership luncheon always well attended but if you do not have a ticket you can do so today gets underway tomorrow at 11 30 at coastal pines program gets underway 12 noon guest speakers on the program school superintendent jay brinson coastal pines president glenn divert again state of education is the topic again tickets on sale today at the chamber $25 $25 for members, $35 for non-members. Also, don't forget a week from today is the community blood drive going to take place at Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium. Again, you can make an appointment by uh, going to the redcrossblood.org website, sponsor code JESSUP. Again, you can also call 1-800-RED-CROSS, 1-800-733-2767. Again, make an appointment. All walk-ins will be welcome. Again, that's a week from today, Monday, February 18th from 2 to 7 at the Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium. Also, hunters out there, the annual hog jam set for this weekend here in Wayne County. Always a popular event. Brings hunters from all across the state and all around 
connecting states. Again, registration is $50 for a bow or gun hunters. You can pay to hunt in both categories. Hunters 15 under hunt free with a registered adult hunter. All hogs must be weighed in at the J.C. Fairgrounds in Jessup. But again, participants can hunt anywhere in the state or any of the connecting states. They have legal permission to do so. Hunters must be in line and weigh in by this Sunday, though, at 2 p.m. or they're dis- or they're disqualified. And the statewide hunt begins at 2 p.m. Friday, ends on Sunday at 2 p.m. February 17th. A lot of people come and watch the weigh-ins. So, again, it's always a popular event, the annual hog jam set for this weekend here in Wayne County. Also in sports, great news for the boys and girls basketball team. Both played for region championships on Friday here at the gym. Big crowd on hand. The boys went to overtime and beat Statesboro and get the number one seed. Their first round opponent is Whitewater. The girls will also host as their number two seed. Their first round opponent is Fayette County. Again, the dates and times have not been set. They're trying to make it where they can both games on the same night, either Friday or Saturday. As soon as we get the dates and times of those ball games for the first round of state tournament, we'll pass along here on our local sports cast. But a lot going on in Wayne County. So court today, 19-page criminal calendar. Robert Guy on the bench today, 930. We'll continue to follow the Superior Court sessions up there in Superior Court. But big day today, 19-page criminal calendar. All right, and uh, Commissioner Kevin McCray texted in, uh, don't forget the amnesty day for uh, trash on Saturday on the 16th, and that is uh, for District 2 and Scriven. Scriven right. And for more information, you can contact the Scriven City Hall. Both uh, Kevin and Jason were on, was it two weeks ago? I believe, I believe so. Was, yeah, two yeah. weeks ago, talking about, yeah. talking about that coming up. But again, they're looking for volunteers, so if you'd like to volunteer, call Scriven City Hall at 579-2211. But it is this Saturday, the end is today for District 2 residents. All right. 815 here at the Big Dog WIFO. Let's take a break, and we'll come back with more of the world-famous Butch and Bomb Show on a Monday morning. Second cup of coffee time here at the Big Dog WIFO. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. 147 18 Ford F-150s are on the ground and on sale at Woody Folsom Ford. Better deals, better get to Baxley. The F-150 XLTs are headed to homes all over South Georgia and North Florida at up to 14000 off MSRP. Get a free lifetime powertrain warranty with almost every new and used vehicle. It's hammer time on SUVs at Woody Folsom Ford. Over 200 Ford SUVs in stock. 18 expeditions hitting the road at up to $8,500 off MSRP. 50 Explorers in stock. And when you test drive a new Ford Edge and get our Edge deal, you'll say they're there ain't nothing to it but to haul off and do it. Escapes, too. We have them all. Hey, now, remember the 18 F-150 XLTs? Up to 14000 off MSRP. Better inventory, better trade, better deal. Better get to Baxley and Woody Folsom Ford. Boom, shakalaka-laka. Got ticks? Well, we hope not. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefani Wilcox. We are the associate veterinarians at Wolf Animal Hospital. As the cool air rolls in, we are noticing the ticks are too. Let us help guard your pets against tick-borne disease this year. Come see us at our main branch, Wolf Animal Hospital, at 755 West Cherry Street. And now we can serve you from our new mobile veterinary clinic in select locations throughout Appling, Brantley, Long, and Wayne Counties. The mobile service will provide preventive medicine and outpatient procedures on site. For more information, contact Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. I'm Dr. Charles Hall. And I'm Dr. Stefania Wilcox. And we are ready to serve you and your four-legged family members at our main hospital or one of our satellite locations. Contact us at Wolf Animal Hospital at 912-427-3212. 912-427-3212. 819 here at the Big Dog, WIF, the world famous Butch and Bob show on this back to work Monday morning, 11th day of February 2019. Wayne County baseball tonight, uh, weatherman permitting 5, 50, and 6 versus the Brunswick High Pirates from Brunswick. All right. You mentioned the new football league. You know, they, they said this morning that the ratings 
for that went up against the big game of the NBA Saturday night and blew out the NBA so that everybody still loves football. And Orlando being coached by Steve Spurrier. Steve Spurrier. Trey Jackson from Wayne County was playing former FSU player. Mm. Played for New England a little bit, but now is with the Orlando team that they played. They beat. They won their game over Atlanta. I think there's like eight teams total in that league. Atlanta, Orlando, Birmingham, San Antonio. I'm not sure of all, but there's eight teams. But they say you know they're not competing against. You know, these are just guys that are hoping to do well and still get another shot in the NFL. And what there's what uh, Clay I was listening to Clay Travis XFL. They're taking a different tack. They're going to try and get 18, 19, 20 year olds. I guess out of just out of high school that uh, maybe did not get a get college opportunity that they wanted or maybe the disillusioned with, with the college game and get get them experience and give them a shot. Interesting thing about this league, every player on the team gets the same salary. Everybody gets seventy five thousand dollars for the eight games, so not a bad gig if you can get on a roster. So but uh it was an interesting game. Like I said not a lot of people seventy five thousand dollars total for all the games? For the eight games, right. For not, the not each game. No. It's seventy five thousand dollars for the season. Eight games. All right, well, so somebody, about seven thousand dollars a game, something like that. So so somebody's making money but not the players. It's not a bad gig though. No, I mean, no, and I not if you can't, you know. I, right. But there are I'm sure there are players in the NFL that are aren't making much more than that on certain you know, in certain positions on certain teams if you're Right, but I'm just saying. I mean, if you're looking for a job, if you yeah, got, well, got yeah. the athletic ability, that's, yes. that's not a bad gig for well, more than we make. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, you know, so. but it's interesting. You know, they say they got Spurrier. You know, they're talking about he has had several backs. You know, he's kind of limping around on the sidelines. They talked about he has he's had several back surgery. Can't play golf right now, so he didn't have nothing else to do. So he said, "Yeah, I'll coach it." But, he's not a spring chicken either, though. Uh, but. He oh, still looks. He's, pretty, he's in the seventies. I know. Yeah, he still looks pretty good. You know, I said he played a lot of golf, but I didn't know he had the back surgeries. But he's coaching the Orlando team. They got Rick Neuheisel coaching the team. I think Bob Stoops from Oklahoma is coaching the team. So they got some big name coaches coaching. So seventy seventy three. He'll be seventy four in April. It does look does look pretty good for. But it'll be interesting to see if it catches on. It's just you know. But it was interesting to see listen to Clay Travis talk about how the ratings. You know, like I said, that was a marquee basketball game on Saturday night, but the ratings for the basketball game got blown out by the football game. So that was interesting. Well, because we'll, see how, we'll see how it pans out there. A lot of these leagues just don't, you know, still remember the USFL. USFL. Oh, you know, yeah. They had all kinds of great players, but that didn't last. But most but of I mean, I was, I was thinking about this, that the NBA – their, their regular season is nothing really more than just an extended spring training because, like, oh, everybody but two teams get yeah. in the playoffs, right? The playoffs last as long yeah. as the regular season. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Hawks will be one of those. Not because they're awful this year. What has happened to the Hawks? I don't know. I don't they're, know. they're terrible this year. But, anyway, baseball today, weatherman. Got to make sure that the weather stays away from Brunswick. <laughs> Got to get this game in. <laughs> Got to get the game in tomorrow, too. Well, yeah, if you had to put your weather cap on, what game is more likely to be played? The game today or the game tomorrow? Hmm, that's a, that's a that's a that's a tough tough call there. I'm going to say more likely today. Today, yeah. Okay. It's rain. It's supposed to rain more tomorrow, right? That's, that's the, yes. That's the the impression that's, that I get. That was the forecast I saw a weekend where the rain was supposed to be here Tuesday, not today, but apparently it's arrived early. Yes. What's the for, What's the temperature though? It's supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be yeah, upper seventies tomorrow. What about today? Uh, upper sixties. Uh, depending on how much rain you get between sixty and seventy, according to Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. Eight twenty-two. Good morning for the Big Dog WIFO. Let's take a quick break with more of the world famous Butch and Bomb Show next on a Monday morning here at the Big Dog. When we say right on the corner and right on the price, we mean it at Mike Birch Ford and Blackshear. Up to twelve thousand dollars off twenty eighteen F one fifties. Twelve thousand dollars off America's number one selling truck. Stop the search. Call Mike Birch and twenty four seven at mikebirchford dot com. Seasons change. Quality of service does it. For 75 years, First Franklin Financial has been serving the financial needs of your friends and neighbors. You can always depend on the caring staff to be there when you need them. Drop by and see your friendly Franklin folks. 
at 1074 North Macon Street or give them a call at 427-4237 or apply online at 1FFC.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. Smart Physical Therapy in Jessup has moved. They're now located at 360 Peachtree Street next door to Wayne Family Practice. Smart Physical Therapy specializes in manual therapy to reduce pain in your joints as well as advanced strengthening for surgical and non-surgical conditions. Among other manual therapy treatments, they also offer dry needling. If you have any questions, call or come by anytime. Smart Physical Therapy offers free consultations. When you're in the need for therapy, see Garrett Pye or Nick Childs at Smart Physical Therapy. Give them a call at 559 20 559-2071 or go by and see them in their new office at 360 Peachtree Street across the street from Dr. Spinola and Dr. Hendricks. They're next door to Wayne Family Practice behind the Jessup Hospital. And remember, it's your choice on where you want to have therapy. Choose Smart Physical Therapy in Jessup. Call them at 559-2071. 559-2071. Smart Physical Therapy, 360 Peachtree Street in Jessup. Winding down the world-famous Butch and Bob show on a Monday morning at 825 uh, with Wayne County Baseball scheduled for tonight, 550 and 6. Same thing tomorrow here at Howard Bowen Field for the regular season home opener. Then on the road for almost a month, where it's a lot of good competition. I hope we get in. Wait yes, man. because uh, last year it played havoc trying to reschedule games, and, and uh, you got your, I see those fingers crossed over there. If yeah. I drive to Brunswick and get rained out, I'd have to drive all the way back. I'm going to oh, I'm I'm gonna be gonna looking be. for you, weather man. <laughs> I'm on notice, huh? That's all right. right. Oh, boy. It's all your. It's all on you. Okay, if you say so. I'm going to blame you, weather man. You didn't watch any of the Grammys last night, did you? Huh? Huh? What? It's a good show last night. You're into those award shows. I, just I like award shows, yeah. I, the, only, the only reason I might tune in to see an award show is hopefully somebody would break an arm patting themselves on the back because that's all that is. Yeah, they had a nice trip to Dolly Parton last night, so it's good to see her. Still, I mean, how old is Dolly? She's in her 70s. Yeah. Definitely in her 70s. She did good, though. Yeah, you know. Still entertaining, still performing but it was a good treatment to her it was a good show last night i enjoyed it of course she had that movie career had uh nine to five and then she did one where she was the talk radio talk show host and a couple of other movies that she's been in lady gaga one of her song with bradley cooper you know it was interesting during all these awards they've been kind of shut up be interested if they do anything in the academy awards with that movie i thought it was one of the best movies of the year stars born so Good performances by both Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. So be interested if they get any recognition at the Academy. I think that comes up on the 24th of February, a couple weekends away. Another award show you won't watch, but I'll be too. You are correct, sir. <laughs> you are correct. So you didn't watch any of the Grammys last night? No. Okay. What? Well, I don't even know who these people are. I'm just I'm, I'm I've become I've become that man, your dad. <laughs> That's not music. This is music. Okay. If you say so. Yeah. Hopefully the weather's going to cooperate today. When's the rain supposed to, I mean, is there a certain period of time where the rain's supposed to be at, at its worst? Or does it say scattered showers? That's, I was under the impression that it was just supposed to be pop-up showers here and there, according to the forecast. But it rained steadily for quite a while last night and early this morning. So... I don't know. I don't know. It rained actually pretty heavily, but apparently a lot of it had soaked in the ground because there were no puddles in my neck of the woods. But it, there were puddles here at the stadium. I'm just not familiar with that stadium or that that field. What kind of drainage? Like I said, our field can take a lot of rain and drain pretty well, but I'm not sure about the new one in Brunswick. So we're hoping keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully, get it in today. Like I said, five fifty pregame show. Six o'clock first pitch, Wayne and Brunswick first game of the thirty game schedule. Four games this week. Got game tonight, tomorrow. And the double header Saturday, Saturday in, over in Hayeshurst. Yes. What's the forecast Saturday? Pretty good. Once you, you get past thirty six hours, all bets are off. You know you're, not, you're not looking forward to the I'm, I'm not I'm not looking forward that far. You don't have extended forecast weather man? You no, don't, I don't. don't do that. No, I don't. I don't do that. You don't? No. That's why you're not hired any word. That's right. Well, but you know, if you want an extended forecast, it's even more unmarked bills that need to be thrown my way. All right. Anything else we need to know on this Monday morning? I think we covered it. 
All right. That is the world. Have a great day. Have a great day. That's the world famous Butch and Bob show on WIFO brought to you by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, Murphy Builder Supply Women's Health Center and Wolf Animal Hospital. At 829, let's get an update from Fox News Radio. Good morning from the big dog.